Hi guys, I have got a kind of small haul today that I wanted to show you guys. I, I kind of wanted to do a before and after. <clears throat> Hopefully this turns out the way I wanted it. So um, I know I didn't show like what my reborns or what my dolls got for Christmas video. So I was trying to give, I got something for them and I was trying to fix it up and it didn't go the way that I wanted it to. So I'm going to show you guys what it was. Like I said, a kind of a before and after because I did buy some dye to kind of work on it. So I got this Quinny Buzz Stroller. Um, I believe it was a Buzz Ultra. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace. I only paid $10 for it, so I thought, why not? Um, you'll see in a minute why what I'm talking about where I'm saying fixing it up. So here's the sunshade. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Pop the light up a little bit. Um, there are some like mildewy mold on the inside and on it. And this is for my dolls. It will stay for my dolls. So I have already washed this. I've washed it in vinegar. And it did not take care of the spots. But, you know, when you wash it in vinegar, it'll kill the mold. So here's the sunshade for it. And then here is the stroller itself. And I really like the stroller. So here are the shoulder pads um they've got a little bit on them there they weren't that bad i know you guys are getting some residual maybe that'll work better um these are the pads that are for it um these i actually soaked in vinegar for a long while and scrubbed them so some of it did actually come off of the pads like it was worse than that and then the seat itself is really, really, really faded. And it has this big splotch. Hopefully you can see that, guys. Um, you can kind of see it right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have ordered some dye. I ordered some purple dye. Because honestly, guys, I'm not a pink person anyways. And this was worse. And like I say, I only paid $10 for the whole stroller. I don't understand people. This is like a six, a five, six hundred dollar stroller to let it get in this condition. I don't understand people. Um, that's just like um, I've seen some baby jogger um, city select strollers that were horrible condition. I, 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 like I said, I don't understand people. Like, why would you take that expensive of a piece of equipment and then just let it get trashed? But anyways, so what I plan on doing is I plan on dyeing this purple, a darker purple, so it'll cover, like, the spots on it is what the goal is. And like I said, this is really faded. It's supposed to be a light pink, but it's supposed to be brighter than this. Um, it's actually supposed to be closer to this light of pink which is darker than that pink so you can tell it's really faded so what i plan on doing is this part's going to get dyed pink or purple these are going to get dyed purple and i'm going to see about doing this will have to get done as well because i hate pink i'm gonna admit it um this i have put the sunshade i have put in the washer so I have a big tote that I'm going to dye it, put it in. And I know, like, some uh, people will say, oh, well, like, the sunshade air, like, the see-through areas, that'll probably turn purple, too. I understand that, but it's kind of a greeny color right now anyway, so. It's got, um, basically, the sun has gotten to the vinyl part of it and changed the color of it anyways. And so these parts are going to be dyed purple and then I am going to do the rest of the seat in black I'm gonna take it off anyways because there's the next part I'm gonna show you so as you can see down there the the seat got it really bad up here and like down in here 
And the guys, it used to be worse than this. I actually took our carpet cleaner to this part. And this is way better than what it was. Um, so on the back, it's not moldy, but that is just dirt. That's like really bad, dingy dirt. It's just really dirty. So this part and this part, I'm just gonna dye this whole thing black. So my plan is to, I've got a big tote, is put the black dye in it and just submerge and let it soak for a few days. And like I said, this is for my dolls. I don't care. And everybody freaking out about, especially this being black and that's gonna be dark purple. Um, there is some stuff for the dye to set it so it won't bleed. So I am putting that on them. But the frame is really sturdy. And the other thing that came with it was, and this was brand new, like I opened the box up and took it out, just kind of check it out, see if it actually worked with my car seats, but it does not. But it is the Quinny Buzz um, Onboard, Safety First, Onboard, Onboard 35, Onboard Air car seat adapter. So I honestly am probably gonna look for an onboard or one of the Safety First car seats to use with it. Um, because I have tried, oh, that was why. Um, I have tried my um, little bit of thing moved. Uh, I have tried. Let me see what's lined up. There we go. Um, sorry. I tried my. Uh, can't even think right now. My Kiko key fit, and I have tried my Mesa and my Uppa Baby Mesa, and neither of them really worked with this, so if I wanna use it like that, I'm going to need the car seat. So it did come with the adapter. Um, when you got the stroller, it actually came with an adapter to work with um, the, Oh, it's a Durrell product. I can't think now. Oh, I can see it in my head. Um, basically, Quinny, Safety First, Moxie Cozy, that's what it is. They're supposed to come with Moxie Cozy adapters, but this one um, was missing them. The lady said that she never used them. And so... Moxie Cozy is also made by Durrell. They also make Costco items. So that is what my baby got for Christmas. It's a three, I don't know if you guys have been able to see, it's a three wheeled stroller. I mean, it is pretty lightweight. The back tires I love because they're huge and they're air tires. So it does give a very good ride, but like I said, it's for my dolls. And that is what it'll stay for. So I put it back together. It's gonna go back in the garage. I just ordered the purple dye to try to do that. And I have, cause I, I tried cleaning it all. Then I tried looking for, um, just to see if I could get like the sunshade and the pad and just say, you know, whatever with the rest of it. And I cannot find just that. And this is the other reason why, guys, I am really not worried about the black part is because once the seat is on, it actually goes all the way down on this part. So the doll will not be touching any of the black. It'll only be touching the purple seat part of the seat. And like I said, I've got the stuff to set it. I ordered that when I ordered the purple dye the purple synthetic dye um i that way it'll get you when you I'll, i can talk so i read up on it what you need to do is you dye it and then before you wash it you just go ahead and um before you wash it you just go ahead and run it through like you're re-dyeing it with the color set 
So I'm going to try that. I'm hoping it works because I am not really sure what fabric this is made out of. I did go ahead and order the synthetic dye because I know like this is nylon on the back and this part of the seat is pretty much all nylon. But I'm not 100% sure on what this fabric is. It's like a really weird soft material. But I know it's a synthetic material. So first I thought it was neoprene, but I'm like, no, it's not that. And I tried looking it up and I cannot find it. And I tried contacting Quinny to get some more information on it. And I have not heard back. So that's what my baby's got. And then recently I was at my favorite consignment shop. So I got some things for Macy. First off, I got these cute little jeggings. They are Oshkosh size nine month or six months. So they should go, they should fit her fine. Um, I got these cute little pants. Guys, I paid 25 cents for these in the onesie that I got next together. Um, these are Carter's six months. They're just white little pants with little flowers on them. Honestly, I thought they were snowflakes because this was matched together as a set. And I did not realize till I got home, but like I said, I only paid 25 cents for the set. And this is Jumping Bean six months, and it's a cute little long sleeve onesie. It's like an aqua color, and it's got these two mittens on there that are pink and purple and a little bit of kind of a teal color at the bottom of the one. And they've got little snowmen on them, and then underneath it says cute and cozy. I thought that was cute. I like the onesie, and like I said, I thought the pants were snowflakes at first when they were hanging together until I got home and I realized they were flowers, so they will probably stay. I'm not sure. Who knows with me? Um, not like Macy's lacking any clothes. And I had to get this. It is so cute, and I know there's a lot of controversy over it now. But I got the super cute Cohart um, six month jacket. It's like a light jacket. I know there's something on the hood. That was from when I washed it. So I need to rewash it. Something got in when I washed this stuff and I did not realize that this got it too. I rewashed the other stuff because it had like this brown staining on it. And I must have missed this. So this will have to be rewashed. Um, but it's pink, it's got little pockets on the sides, it's got a zip down front, and then on the back it kind of flares like a little skirt, or, or they got a little diaper booty, and I thought that was cute, and I liked that it was a th really thin one layer coat. And then guys, I have been having so much nostalgia lately, oh my god, I forgot one thing. <coughs> local supermarket and they have these the other day so I had to get them and of course my kids are going to probably use them too but my kids are a little bit old for them they had guys Lisa Frank stuff again and in fact they even had Lisa Frank cookies so I got the cookies mom my family loves these ready-baked cookies and then I got these four Lisa Frank books so there's a countdown with Lisa Frank book and it literally starts at 12. I think it starts at 12 or does it start at 13? Nope, it starts at 12. And then you count down. And then it's got a bunch of different Lisa Frank pictures. So that's one. Um, then we've got ABCs with Lisa Frank. So it's all Lisa Frank artwork with the alphabet. So like A for Angel Kitty, B for Bops, Bopsy Doodle. Um, oh, these are the names of them. Oh my gosh, I never knew that. C is for Casey and Candy. So apparently, <coughs> excuse me, the letters correspond to the names of the pictures or the animals in the picture. I knew she had named animals, but I did not know what the animals' names were as a kid. So that's cool. Then we've got um, fantasy, the fantasy world with Lisa Frank, a picture find book. This one's kind of cool. Um, 
So it's, uh, can you find a green fish? So you look around trying to find a green fish. Can you find a pink bunny? So there's the pink bunny down here. Um, which bird is friends with a monkey? So you find a monkey and a bird together. Um, I only see one monkey over here, but I do not see a bird with it. <clears throat> but it's like one of those seek and find type books. I mean, obviously it's for younger kids. And that's fantasy. And then we've got picture find with Lisa Frank. So this is just kind of a general, like, have you seen the birthday cake? And then you look around and try to find the birthday cake. So that's a couple of the birthday cakes down there. So, um, can you guess who the birthday boy is? And obviously it's the cat down here because it's the same shape. So I had to get these four Lisa Frank books. They were seriously only a dollar each. And then, like I said, we got the Lisa Frank cookies that we will be making. It was such a nostalgia shopping trip at um, our local HUB. -E and last thing, Crystal and I are going to split. So these will not be up for sale on my um, eBay page, but we got the Hello Bello Dr. Seuss diapers. Um, we're going to split this pack. There is two different patterns in it. I'll go ahead and open it up. Um, Crystal had messaged me a bit ago, and she's like, um, I know you used to order Hello Bello diapers. Are you still doing it? Did you see the Dr. Seuss ones? And I went to look, and I'm like, oh, those are really cute. But no, I do not order them anymore. I have a whole bunch on my eBay page, and I have a whole bunch that I haven't even opened up to list yet to put on eBay. So I haven't been ordering any more of the Hello Bello uh, boxes and she's like oh shoot well I was at Walmart today and I saw these and I messaged her I'm like Walmart has them you want me to pick them up and she's like yes we'll split them so I got size two um, which is what um, fit Sean Macy Maisie and I believe it also fits her um, Noah and oh my gosh Joshua so the first one is like a blue diaper and it has all oh, the places you will go print. So it's got the castle and then all the balloons like from the book. And then the other one, I have the correct name on it. This is all oh, the places you will go as well. And this one has um, different colored elephants carrying the flags and some balloons and um, rainbows on it. So I thought these are super cute and we were excited to be able to get them. So that was kind of my small haul. The big thing was the new stroller. Like I needed a new stroller, but you know what? I like to collect different strollers. My husband knows this. Uh, I am trying to sell my one, my single um, city select stroller. I have two city select strollers currently. I have a single and then I have a double, which I'm keeping the double because it can be a single or a double, but the one that just has a single seat, that one I am trying to sell. And so I did get this. It was such a steal. I wanted to fix it up. I like unusual strollers at that. So, and then I do have my, I have a lot of baby jogger strollers. I have my Versa. I have the two city selects. I did sell my city mini and then I have, oh, what is that? The jogging. I cannot for the life of me think of it. It is in my garage and I absolutely love that stroller. Um, <clears throat> my kids actually, my, my hundred pound son, 11, almost 12 year old son and my 10 year old daughter love that stroller. Like we've taken it to um, SeaWorld a couple times and like when they get tired that thing holds their weight and then I have the um, Kiko push our snap and stroller for my Kiko car seat so um, I hope everyone will have a great day and I will see you all later bye